Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus, and today I wanted to go over how to retopologize your geometry. For example, I have my character Calico, and I feel like her topology could be a little bit better. So I'm going to be using the Maya 2016, and by the way, the same tool applies to Maya 2017 uh, modeling toolkit. The only thing you really need to do is create select your mesh and then go to make live and you can find that under modify make live and then after that the next steps is about creating topology that you wanted to improve on so for me i always want to make sure that the topology is going to go around the mouth and also around the eyes so as you're watching this tutorial you're going to see me placing dot the first thing you do is select your mesh make it make live and then you're going to go to your modeling toolkit and click on quadra on the bottom right and then once you have that, you're going to be placing little dots. It's kind of like vertices. Once you have four dots, you are going to be able to make a quad. And that's why it's called quad draw. So uh, pretty fancy. You click four dots and then you hold down shift and the shift will give you a polygon. Then you just click holding down shift and we'll just continue creating polygon. Once you have enough geometry, you can go ahead and relax. Now, sometimes it can be a challenge to find where the quad is. So just kind of make sure that you're going through and have enough quads and enough vertices to make sure that it's nice and uh, quadratic and there's no strange geometry. So you'll see me revolving the camera, trying to get the right angle so that I can make sure I get the right quad. The issue that I had was uh, around the mouth. I wasn't too happy with it. There was a line that went from the top of the lip all the way to the eye. And I felt that that was not the best place for it. So I decided to just go ahead and retopologize my character so that I have the rings that I want and uh, the geometry that I want. Um, as you can notice in my piece is that I first did the mouth and then after doing the eye. And my goal is to make sure that the quality of the geometry is better and that I get the opportunity to make sure that the topology is in the proper place. So again, you want to have rings around the eyes and rings around the mouth and then everything else goes around it. And the reason why is because when you have good topology, you'll be able to produce some really nice blend shapes. Now, this is a very handy tool, especially if you have, for example, really high poly model from ZBrush. It can be, have millions of polygons, so you might need to retopologize it. So I take the time to either fix the geometry or just reduce the geometry. And this is a really nice way of making sure that everything works. Hold down shift and it, on your geometry and you'll be able to get a relax tool. So I'm also adding edges, which it's a nice thing about this tool is that you can in fact add more edges. So if you felt like, for example, on the side of the head, I felt like it needed more geometry. I went ahead and added an extra edge and that way I can shape it a little bit better. You can also move the mesh around so you're not stuck where it is. You can always move it, it's not permanent. So that's another nice thing about this tool is that you can create the polygons and then you can move them around. So you wanna hold down control to get make an extra edge. If you just select the mesh alone, you'll be able to move it around. You can cl click on particular corners and particular vertices and you'll be able to move that mesh as well. So those are the nice little tricks about the quad draw. As you can see that I've uh, went ahead and took a look at the topology. The nice thing is that I can compare it, take a look at it, see if there's any weird things going on and I can always delete it and then recreate it. All right, went ahead and did make live again and I go back to quad draw and Maya is smart enough to know that I'm using the same piece of geometry to continue drawing. So I'm going to continue uh, creating little vertices, just clicking away and then holding down shift to create the quad. And it's basically rinse and repeat. Now don't be shy about getting really close in here. It's really important that you select the right quad to be able to produce some really nice results. Of course, control Z is your friend. So if you ever see any flying vertices or flying edges or flying geometry, you can always just go ahead and clean it up. So in this example, I'm having a little bit of a challenge trying to create the right quads, but then I have to go in and get really close. And then that way I can select the right uh, shape. All right, the main face is basically done. So now I'm going to be creating more points and holding down shift and clicking. And this is gonna get me the, the rest of the face. Now, don't forget the inside of the eye, that's gonna be very important. So again, you wanna have 
a place for your eye or a socket there should always be a little bit of a socket so that you so once you have the eye set up you can just put it in there and there's it won't be like a gaping hole there's there's going to be some geometry there so the eye is turning to be a little tricky as you can see i'm trying really hard to find that right angle so i can get that quad and it's a little bit of a challenge i think i gave up can i go ahead and do the bigger ones first and then i'm going to go back So I wasn't too happy with the geometry around the ear either, so this is going to help that area as well. So uh, the whole purpose of retopologizing is that you will be able to create some really nice mesh. So now you guys know how to insert edges into your mesh. You can also move the geometry around so it's not stuck where it is. You can actually place it in the best area so that it gives you exactly what you're looking for. And then you just continue drawing and retopologizing your mesh. The mouth can be a little bit tricky. It has a lot of uh, geometry around the corners of the mouth. So this is going to take a little bit of uh, finessing and getting the right angle. So you're going to see me just kind of struggling a little bit to place it, but that's just part of the tool. It's not uh, an end all. It just takes a little bit of patience. But I'd rather do this than remodel the whole thing. So for me, this is not, not bad at all. Otherwise, I have to recreate the whole model. That would be awful. So this is not bad at all. Just to check to see what's going on with the mesh, I went ahead and uh, going to move it. And then I noticed that when I tried to add an edge, it wasn't working. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up this piece over here and see what's going on. So it looks like I have a hole and I'm trying to fix it. So I'm going to go ahead and select the edges and just fill hole. It might be a little bit easier than try to quad draw. So I'm probably just going to keep clicking G. So you're not stuck in stone. You can add your own edges even after you've uh, made live or used a quad draw. So, and that's exactly what I'm doing is just adding edges and edge loops and seeing where the holes are and just kind of cleaning things up. In some scenarios, I'll be using bridge. In others, I'll be using uh, fill hole. It really depends what type of what type of effect I want. So there's a lot of tools that you can use to try to retopologize and make sure your mesh looks good. So there I again, I am selecting mesh and then just reducing the bridge. There is a tool in the modeling toolkit called bridge, but I'm having fun just clicking G. All right, now I'm revisiting the mouth and seeing what's going on. And same thing, I'm selecting edges and decreasing the, the bridge uh, divisions and then that way I can get a nice, nice mesh. All right, putting the face back on gonna make live and then use the quad draw tool and continue on it's a pretty powerful tool I'm really impressed that Maya um, created this it's been making my modeling process a lot faster especially if I have to retopologize something so this is really handy by the way you can work on anything you can work on your geometry you can work on your uh, characters you can work on anything you want if you feel like uh, it needs to be recreated instead of starting from scratch you can always just retopologize so already I feel like the mesh is significantly better. The geometry is definitely 
looks a lot more even and not so bundled up in some areas. So for me, I'm actually very happy about the results. So I'm relaxing. Relaxing the vertices and the mesh helps uh, look a little smoother. There you go, the skull is done. All right, significantly better. Let's go ahead and take a look and, okay, so if you hear me out, it's because I do have a cat. And sometimes the cat needs a lot of love, even though I'm recording videos. So forgive me if you hear a meow meow in the background. All right, so there she is. That is a retopologized head. I'm gonna go ahead and extrude. And I think I have an extra face, so I'll go ahead and delete that and try again. So again, Control Z is my favorite tool. All right, Control E, and then bring it up. Control E again to get the inside of the nose, so that's gonna be helpful. And of course the sock, the place where you're going to put your teeth and the place you're going to put your gums and your tongue and everything, you need to make sure that you have a space for that. So I always call it the sock just because I think it looks like a, like a sock inside the mouth, like a ball. All right, extrude again. Make sure you place it, expand it. Doesn't have to be that pretty. Um, no one's going to really see it, but you could always make it nicer just in case this, I do want to make this look pro. And then after that, so I decided that instead of retopologizing the eye, I'm just going to go ahead and extrude the eye and therefore I don't have to fight the tool anymore. All right, the head and the skull looks significantly better. There she is coming together. Topology looks nice and smooth. You got to make sure the edges are aligned to the grid. So go ahead and grab the outer edges and scale, then mirror the geometry again. And there we go. There she is. So if you take a look at her topology in comparison, bring everybody back, grab the original face and the new face. And you can see that even though there's not much of a difference when it comes to the geometry, the topology is a lot better. And that's exactly what I wanted to do. I just wanted to make sure the topology was better. So she, if she, the topology looks nice, then uh, it's going to react better when you rig her. All right. I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I'd love to hear your comments below and, and I'll see you next time.